Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Fed Adventures. Welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp with me, Jake Spins, from Spade Gals Productions with gaming and boxing as well. Spade Gals Virgin with Girl Cyclones, Quincor, Floral Eye, and Vlogs. If you're wondering, Spins, why are you so pumped? Why are you so hyped? Like an hour ago, I just saw the Nintendo Direct, and oh my god. Like, seriously. It is insane, it is good, and I, I'm i so glad that I recorded my reactions because, I mean, I could have at least put, like, four separate reactions onto the channel, but I decided for now to just put two of them and maybe worry about the other two later because the one was just like, I was like, wait, what? Wait, but why? Sort of a thing. Um, it is September 13th, 2018, and I just, <sighs> it's insane. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow, so I don't know how much I will talk about the Direct, but I feel like it's pretty safe to say now that, oh my gosh, like, Isabelle in Smash. Guys, we have a new Animal Crossing, and as promised, I asked my sister, my sister is okay if I do a Let's Play on the new Animal Crossing that's coming to Switch in 2019. So we're going to have, let's be honest here, we're going to have le a Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion 3. Possibly a co-op of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And Animal Crossing in the exact same year. And this is going to be hyped from Smash Brothers, Let's Go Eevee, Team Sonic Racing, like, oh my god... How in the world? There is no way. It's, Nintendo has just won 2019. You know, we got rid of the squeaking door, so I thought it would be fine, and there was no way anybody could interrupt me recording. Um, and then my dad comes inside uh, from the house on speakerphone. He's literally never used speakerphone. Um, so yeah, that's frustrating. So I don't know. I'm going to have to wait a second. Um, to continue recording. Am I frustrated? Yes. Very much so. This is literally the one series where I hate when I get interrupted because it's very hard for me to tell what time um, to cut and stuff. Anyway, though, let's jump in. The reason I'm recording Pocket Camp is not actually because of the direct, and I'm sorry that... Um, me being so hyped went from me being to this. Um, but yeah, it, seriously, it was so good. If you haven't seen my reaction to Luigi's Mansion 3, like, I've literally never been so hyped in my entire life for anything. And it's basically roots from Luigi's Mansion 3. Well, Luigi's Mansion is a game from my childhood. It is... It's one of the games that I played and one of the games that my cousin loved and it's it's exciting to me. The only thing that could be more exciting or as exciting as that is Sonic Adventure series being on Switch. Um, sequel to that or same thing for Sunshine. Basically. That's, that's literally the only thing that I would get that hyped over. So I'm really pumped for that. Anyway, though, we also have a Splatoon 2 crossover, which they announced this like two days ago. They teased this two days ago, and it went live today. So not only did we get a direct, we got this. And I was planning on doing it sooner, but I was doing a bunch of stuff because I'm going to be busy next week. Um, with The next two weeks with job stuff. And then, you know, I'm, I'm not going to have... Um, as, as much time. So I, I was making sure that I had stuff done for at least this week so I can start working on next week so that I have a good four days. I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow, as I said. But yeah, we have a Splatoon 2 crossover with uh, this kind of thing. Looking at it, the hairstyles are both from Splatoon 2. Outfits definitely look like they're from Splatoon 2. And that's fair because New Leaf... Oh no. Oh please. 
I'm going to be so upset. Is this seriously a freaking cookie? Clam scavenger hunt has started. <laughs> God dang it. Clam blitz. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm so okay with that because I sincerely thought that they were... Oh my god, they're doing so much. We're going to have a Splatoon fishing tournament? We have cookies and... J oh my god. I'm glad to know that it's not just the cookies though, because I was about to be really upset. Here's this information packet. Why don't we give you like five more information packets? But yeah, I was going to record this a lot earlier today, but it, everything just got a little screwed over. Aww. I actually really like the idea of that cookie. So seeing that it's going to be ending soon is really sad for me. Yeah, listen. Listen, I would love to get a splat wall. I have an actual splatter shot in real life, though. So if I miss that, that's fine. Having spawn points, that's great. Look, all this stuff, it looks amazing. But first of all, none of it is guaranteed. And secondly, as much as I would love to actually get this... I'm not going to spend my money on it. And I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not. Um, but seeing this is amazing. And oh my god, really? Really, guys, really? They're both 80 leaf tickets. And I mean, I at least have 30. At least for the leaf tickets, I can go and get them. So that's, that's at least what I'm thinking. But also, there actually is a new Splatoon update that's coming very soon. Which is... They, they're, they're adding, like, hand grenades and some kind of, like, anime-esque type of thing where it's a special, and it's, it's like, it's basically like an energy ball made of ink, but they, they didn't show anything. But, like, the whole thing, it was kind of promoted as an anime, which I thought was interesting but strange because they've never done anything like that and the stage didn't look very anime but also they started showing story stuff and the game's gonna be done like the game's gonna be done over the course of the year so i don't know why they would show story stuff because why would there be anything else more since the dlc is done and it apparently had this big final boss that i just don't know about and thankfully i haven't been spoiled for it but now that i've said it definitely gonna get spoiled from it um, that I, that I have to do because I just, I'm like halfway through, and eh, not halfway through, but I have two things, Poltergeist right there, yes, but I'm, I've got two items to where, you know, I got two things, and it was like 80, so I'm, I'm probably like one fourth way through it, if I had to guess, depending on my progress, but also, I totally called it, for Simon Belmont, they had that new poltergeist and the plunger thing. And I, I so called that. I was like, man, why would they have a new poltergeist? Everybody was like, why would they have a new poltergeist? That is so strange. Also going to buy this just in case. But everybody was just so curious of why. And then they come out with this direct and be like, opening thing. Boom. Luigi's Mansion. I, like, oh my god. I... Just having the realization sink in, though, I actually did almost cry as I was making the thumbnail and after that because, A, I had never done those reaction things, but B, it was a chance for me to sit down and say, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. And it's not something I predicted. If you look in my, my live stream, you'll see what I predicted was I predicted Animal Crossing, Splatoon 2, I, I predicted updates and stuff, you know, just in a general sense. And Pikmin, I, I predicted Pikmin 4. Unfortunately, we didn't see Pikmin 4 or any Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stuff, but honestly, that is okay, because from what I can tell, um, Pikmin 4, I don't know what the heck's going on with that or anything like that, but not... I don't want people to think that I'm not happy with the Direct because I'm ecstatic. They did amazing and honestly, I don't think they should really get any criticism if they do. So far, I haven't heard any, but I'm I'm ecstatic about it. 
Um, but Mario Kart 8 updates seem like they're just going to randomly poop them out. Like, it's been, it's been a slow news day. A lot of people are getting a little antsy. They want to hear something about a new game or something. So we're just going to throw out, right out there, we are just going to throw the whole entire idea of, why am I blanking now? Why am I blanking? Oh yeah, of a new update. There we go. Because I, I went I went to the Smash thing. Because a lot of people, they were predicting... Well, I, I saw a few predictions for Shantae. A lot of people, they were saying Isabel as an Echo, Shadow as an Echo, and then I, I did see a few Shantae. But I never thought Isabel would be a newcomer. The fact that... And I know I said I wouldn't talk about this, but like this is fresh, this is new... This is exciting. This just happened like an hour ago. So I apologize. I'll probably talk about it again tomorrow. And there we go. There we go. We got some, we got some Blitz Clam. Yeah, it's Clam Blitz. Is it really called Blitz Clam? I mean, I guess, but just call it Clam Blitz. Oh my gosh. My, apparently, um, one of, one of my diagnoses now, I don't talk about diagnosis stuff. But one of the new ones is uh, OCD. So that explains why that upsets me <laughs> quite a lot. It, it really just, hmm, I, w I wish it was just Clam Blitz because it sounds better than Blitz Clam. And Clam Blitz, if you guys know, is, is not one of my, my favorite modes. But hey, at least we can get clothes and Splatoon stuff from it. And that's that's nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, but for Isabel, I did not expect it to be... I did not expect her to be a newcomer, and I did not expect her at all to be in this direct for being announced. Because the thing is, like, the thing before, it was a Lowland executor with Diddy Kong and Bayonetta. So I'm wondering, I'm actually curious... Was Isabel the original candidate? Because, I mean, granted, there's no... I still think the whole speculation of, here's the furniture stuff, that's that's silly. But if it was true, it would probably be strictly for the Smash Direct. Um, but there was another theory that it was, you know, with Simon, there was a whole skull. They, they showed the crash bomb and then they showed off Simon Belmont, so... Somebody made a theory that they would do the same thing, but it, it could possibly be Shantae because of how they set it up and all this. Like, this, just this crazy theory. But the thing is, like, Isabel does not fit that whatsoever. And I feel like a lot of people, they were saying it'll probably be a character where it won't be a huge impact. But the people that it will impact, the fan base that it will impact, will be so happy. They will be amazing. Like, they will just lose it happy. And Animal Crossing really is a series like that. Because while it is an extremely... Like, I, I would put it in a top Nintendo IP. But it's one that's kind of in the shadows. But a lot of people love it. Like, people were literally trying to summon it. From the underground to the point like that's the amount that people love Animal Crossing. My sister literally danced around when it was announced that Animal Crossing was happening for the Switch. So it is definitely a hundred percent one of those series that it's like, okay, it's gonna make it's it's a smaller community, but it's gonna make this giant impact. And a lot of people are going to love it. And no one, seriously, I am under the belief that no one could have possibly seen this coming. I mean, if you did, let me know in the comment section below. And by the point that this goes up, it's probably going to be a while since this direct. It's because my, my whole entire thing with uploading Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, it's, it's all wonky and all over the place. It's possible that Smash Ultimate is already out. And I made a joke in the one that I edited. Like, edited is a weird word. I, 
I hate saying it. But it's like four episodes ago when I when I did an edit on it, I, I mentioned, oh, you'll probably be like, why is there no winter stuff in this? Ha ha ha. And it's going to be up relatively soon. So I'm even surprising myself. I I honestly, again, I don't know. But yeah, um, I also did mention about the fact that I will be doing a playthrough on it. Because I, I asked my sister, and I mentioned the fact that she she was instantly fine with it, too. But I mentioned the fact that even if it's the same town, the only difference that it's going to make is nooks. Uh, because when you when you go into a file, if you're if you're playing it, it's it's one person that affects for any of the animals. The animals aren't going to be like, oh, you know what? There was already somebody here, so um, no, I I legitimately don't care. Also, I wouldn't be recording every single day for Animal Crossing. So there there's also that. But it would it would be all of us realistically building it up. So it it wouldn't affect her. I also put a Twitter poll up that asked if you guys wanted to see a full playthrough if this did happen or if you guys wanted to see Pocket Camp. And while there wasn't a lot of you, v- votes on it, the votes that were there were just like, mate, we want a full playthrough on this. So I will definitely 100% be doing a full playthrough on it. Granted, I don't know if I'd finish it just because Animal Crossing is long. Or what I would do, and I'm thinking about doing this for Mega Man 11, is switching it over to a live stream playthrough and finishing it that way. And my thought for Mega Man 11 is maybe just having it be a live stream thing, but I'm not sure. It really depends on how it goes, but I'm I'm really leaning towards it because we have Super Mario Party that's coming out. And I don't know, I don't think I'm going to really have time to edit and you guys liked the bloopers and aces and sonic and the black knight bloopers i don't think are happening i know it's sad to say but i really don't think that bloopers are going to happen just for the fact that it's like it's it's just it's not not gonna happen um and i feel like Mega Man 11 would have a lot of funny bloopers since i've only played Mega Man one Which didn't even have a charge blast in it, so I didn't know how to do it in the demo. So, yeah, there's all that. Now, my thought is that I'm going to... What am I doing? I'm going to get rid of Tad. That seemed a little more drastic. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of Tad because it's been a little bit... I don't know who the last person was, but we had that whole overhaul thing. I remember Tad being here for a while, so we're going to toss tad out i'm sorry you're a good frog you you are a ribbiting ribbit of frog of frogs everywhere i'm also going to need to change my outfit as well because i forgot to and i know i know exactly who i'm inviting because i 100 percent made sure that i could invite her and it's carmen it's carmen i i i don't know what it is but i really enjoy carmen I just really like her design. She is definitely one of the Animal Crossing characters that I would 100% get a plush of. Because look at how adorable she is. And it's it's weird because, like, it's not like the adorable that a lot of the characters have. It's like an adorable in an innocent way. And just a, a beautiful way because of that. And I just, I, I just really like Carmen. I think that she's she's great and if we get Carmen in the next town that will be even more fantastic that's that's the other thing to consider is that when when it comes to Animal Crossing who comes to your town really molds your journey and that that was really proved with the GameCube Animal Crossing which I know I mentioned that a ton But it's also been kind of molded in this sort of. Not that much, but it really has been. Unfortunately, when I was younger, I didn't really take this into account. And I was just like, oh yeah, I I played. But I really liked Mint. And that's the character that stuck out to me. And the character that we called Grandma. 
So I'm really looking forward to that whole idea of just going around seeing characters and being like, yes. Also, I think we're going to go for... Well, I was going to say Fauna, but she's probably not going to be switched out for a while. So I think we're going to go Jay because Jay is likely to be the next one to leave. It's, it's very likely that Jay is going to. And one thing I'm going off of right now is who's locked because it's a pool set. And I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Also, a cool thing. I got, I did get the, I did get the whole merry ground circus thing. But in night, this, um, this was the ruins. And the ruins on, on level three, that's what it changes into, which is just awesome. But, um... It also lights up at night. And not only is that cool for this, it also does that for the balloon, I think, which is even better. Also, I'm kind of just putting whatever on him because it's funny and it's great. Should I put cat lady glasses on you? It looks stupid. Um, it looks a little creepy to me. You know what? Let's go that because you look kind of like a grandpa that's a ready to criticize art. That's literally like some crazy grandpa that everybody is like, oh gosh, grandpa, you're so hilarious, but y you criticize art way too much kind of a thing. And I know this whole episode, I've just been like derping around and just my brain has just been like, Bleh. but we've been talking a lot about Smash stuff and that's really what got into my mind. And also... Why would I buy... See, why would I buy the pink one? I'm not going to buy the pink one because you gave me for free one that's purple. Why would you... That's a little silly. That's honestly a little silly. Also, that outfit probably would have worked better like that. Um, This time, I think we're going to go... Do we really want to go Brewster, though? Um, I don't... See, I don't know. I don't know. See, I think that what we actually should do is it's it's fall. It's it's time to give a fall aesthetic for our girl. And she hardly ever wears pants. I know that sounds silly, but she legitimately never wears pants. She's always in a skirt or a dress. And I I think I wanna I wanna change that. Also not sure what I'm gonna have for the hair, maybe. Look, there's not very many things that are very fall-like. I mean, a flower, maybe. Eh, but it's... See, if it wasn't red, then maybe it would fit. Would a bow fit? Yeah. Okay, that works. And I like, I like the clash of the red. I really do. Should we go those pants? I'm thinking maybe we should go those pants. Like the regular navy. Let's, let's do that. So there you go. She's she's nice and cute. Very chain. It's funny because it's it's a very tame outfit from the Mary Poppins thing. And hello, Carmen. Hi, girl. I'm so happy to have you in my campsite now. Like seriously, you're great. Anyway, though, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think about the whole discussion of the direct or anything else that's new during the time of this upload. I guess. But also, go to those reactions because we have an Isabel one and the... Seriously, I know I've said it so many times, but the Luigi's Mansion one. Also, if New Super Mario Bros. If I do that one. Look at my face during the Peach Yat thing. Well, just, just look at my face because I'm like... What? Why? And also, I got very excited for P and... Aces. So if that goes up, make sure to check that out. Or just go to the whole direct thing and, and watch my reaction, even if it's like five months later, because it's it's fun to watch people's reactions of that. Anyway, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it safe.